Evening with a heated campaign. Now in the rearview mirror, Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson turns his attention to the tough task of governing. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley spoke with Johnson one-on-one -on -one this afternoon. He's here now with more on what's in store before Inauguration Day. Taman. Dina and Ray, good evening. A busy night and morning for Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson. He heard from local leaders like Governor Pritzker. National Democrats reached out too. Now it's time to build relationships with City Council and implement a public safety plan. Next month, 47-year-old Brandon Johnson, a teacher turned activist turned Cook County Commissioner, will be sworn in as the 57th mayor of Chicago. He inherits a city that 7 in 10 voters say is on the wrong track. Not everyone buys into your comprehensive crime-fighting strategy, the investments, more detectives. What is your message to Chicagoans who don't feel safe? Well, again, public safety is something that we are all um, deeply um, impacted by. It's a problem. It's a serious one. And it's one that I live every single day. As much as, of course, that I love living on the west side of Chicago and in Austin in particular, you know, I might be the first mayor elected in a long time who will live in one of the most violent neighborhoods in the entire city of Chicago. But here's what I'm confident in, though. The people of Chicago, no one disagrees with youth employment. No one disagrees with mental health support. No one disagrees with training and promoting 200 more detectives. No one disagrees with addressing the housing crisis in the city of Chicago. So what we have to do, get to as many yeses as we possibly can. The mayor-elect says he's not yet identified candidates for superintendent of Chicago police, but he believes it's important that the next top cop come from within the force. But for Johnson, the first order of business is to meet with members of the newly created police district councils. My wife and I, there's nothing we won't do um, to keep our children safe. And what I want for my family, I want for every single family in the city of Chicago. Mayor-elect Johnson will soon begin meeting and working with members of city council, many of whom back a plan to expand their power. Last week, members voted to increase the number of committees and they picked chairman a task that traditionally falls to the mayor. Today, the mayor-elect hinted he'd like a redo. Do you support their plan, or do you want time to huddle with them and, so that you can weigh in? Of course, there are a number of individuals who ran and won last night that were not a part of that process. I would believe that the city of Chicago, and particularly those districts, those wards that voted for those individuals to represent them, I would believe that they would want their elected local leader to be able to participate in the collaborative process to determine committees, as well as who has the ability to lead and co-lead those committees. The inauguration is May 15th, meaning the transition begins in earnest, with the mayor-elect planning to meet with outgoing Mayor Lightfoot soon. Dean Henry. Yeah.